All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, uh, it's really a sad kind of video to make because I, I wasn't even really gonna talk like about this whole situation. I try to stay away from these, but I just honestly hate to see somebody's name get dragged through the mud, especially when they're really no longer in a position to defend themselves by people online who can't understand nuance, who pretty much lack any critical thinking capabilities and are just realistically out for blood. I mean, it it's really kind of that like typical Twitter syndrome where like 85 to 90 percent of people who actually use the platform are just essentially on there to boost their own egos by tearing everybody else down right like they, they got to find a new target of the day for the hive mind to jump on top of and get mad about because if you actually spent your time doing something productive and like actually practicing the things that you preach, being a good person, being decent to others in the world, 95% of these people on Twitter wouldn't be on Twitter. Like if all these people who preached all this shit, you know, actually were out practicing it, they wouldn't be on Twitter trying to cancel people especially right after they pass away, for honestly some shit that is way more nuanced than they really put it out to be. So recently, a pretty notable artist passed away by the name of Steve Harwell. He was the lead singer for Smash Mouth. They are behind some pretty popular online meme songs and pretty decent songs in general. I mean, uh, the one I can think of is the basically like the intro song to Shrek. All-Star, that's the one everybody knows. That's the one uh, everybody kind of, I feel like, really knows. They have a couple other songs, too, a lot of people would recognize, but th that's not really what's important, you know? Unfortunately, Steve Harwell recently passed away, and, or, as far as we know, uh, he hasn't actually passed away yet, but he's in, like, hospice care. He's basically on his deathbed. He only has days to live. As far as what we know from, like, TMZ and whatnot, his family is pretty much, like, all around him, uh, spending their final days with him. Just, you know, trying to have that time with him before he passes away so i mean it, it's really only inevitable and it's sad man i mean it, it, this is a human being at the end of the day regardless of whatever twitter wants to say regardless of you know whatever bad shit that he did in his past this guy he, he's not evil you know what i mean this isn't like an osama bin laden or like a hitler or something right it's somebody who made some bad choices spiraled into a, a pretty bad spot in their life and had a pretty notable incident where they did something pretty fucked up. And instead of people just realizing that there's nuance to situations and like trying to actually realize the context behind things, now that he, uh, I'd like the news basically hit that he's on hospice care and he's only got days to live, he's basically sentenced to death at this rate. Uh, somebody went kind of viral on Twitter. I mean, a lot more people have gone viral actually like kind of sticking up really for this situation because thankfully there are some sane people out there, right? Who see this shit and they're like, why, why does, why is this happening? You know, why are we doing this? Because it, it's fucking disgusting. It really is. Like, this is somebody who can no longer defend himself. He's got days to live. He's already had a really tough time of it in the last several years of his life. There's not really any chance for him to even clear his name or even like defend himself. And these people want to hop to Twitter all of a sudden now to like really bring down the fucking hammer. And to me, that's just, it's such a low blow. Like, why haven't we been hearing about this back when it was all happening and like for the time after that? But all of a sudden, now that he can't defend himself and he's about to pass away, now everybody wants to jump on this hate bandwagon because of what he did. So I I'll tell you what happened here, okay? Uh, the incident in question. So is this the same Steve Harwell of Smash Mouth who retired as a lead singer after doing a Nazi salute during a performance? He pointed in the crowd saying, I'll fucking kill your family. I I swear to God. Now, yes, this is unfortunately a true story. I mean, Steve Harwell did do this. And what's really ironic, and it kind of just proves the point of Twitter here, is the TMZ article that this person quote tweeted literally has the video of this and mentions this expressly in the article, but this person didn't read the article because nobody on Twitter actually ever does. They look at the headline and then they react and then they start talking. But yes, the TMZ article that they quote tweeted and tried to like get a gotcha moment on did actually mention this and include it, but people are too stupid to actually open the links that they're talking about online. You know, why, why would you actually read the source material that you're referencing if you're gonna respond or talk about it, right? Because that, that would just make too much sense. Now, let's go ahead and uh, do what I like to call bringing nuance into the situation. Let's go ahead and talk about the context of this situation. So, Steve Harwell 
went through what I can only call one of the most tragic and god-awful experiences anyone can go through. Steve Harwell lost his six-month-old child to leukemia, which, I mean, that, that's a pretty devastating thing to have to go through. I, I can't imagine what that does to somebody's mental health and how, you know, low that some people will go to cope with shit like that. I mean, these are the types of situations that create drug addicts and alcoholics, and unfortunately, in some instances, even people commit suicide and take their own lives because they can't handle the grief and the stress of shit like this. And I think it's really hard for a bunch of people who've never had to go through something like that to sit there and poke and prod at somebody after they've gone through something like that. But not only that, uh, unfortunately, that is exactly what happened to Steve. He, un after all of this, he, I guess, learned some bad coping mechanisms and he became a pretty severe alcoholic and was really into, like, substance abuse and just was never sober anymore. So when he did this, you know, did the Nazi salutes and was yelling crazy shit into the crowd, was just doing horrible shit, obviously, having a bad mo of, like, a bad moment. He was clearly in a, like, spiraled out state where his mental health was completely destroyed destroyed. He was an alcoholic. He was just fucking in a low point in his life. And yeah, he did something messed up. I mean, I think most people would agree that like, yeah, what he did was bad and he deserved to get called out for it. And he deserved to have his actions like spoken about. But once again, these people didn't ever really seem to give a fuck about this or trying to say anything about it until suddenly he was on his deathbed and could no longer defend himself. That's when these people decided to come out of the fucking woodworks and select their new target of the day. Because what people on Twitter do is they make sure that people are in a vulnerable state before they go after them. They never try to pick on somebody who can defend themselves. They don't try to pick on somebody who can actually respond and like logically destroy the stupid shit that they say. They always have to try and find a target that they think they can swarm, right? Somebody who, you know, maybe they're in a situation where people are, their backs against the wall, right? People are kind of not on their side. Then, then that's when they jump in. Then that's when things are worth mentioning and bringing up, you know? Like I said, when this guy did all this, I didn't hear about it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this was like a major news story or not. It doesn't really seem like it was rolling too hot off the presses because I didn't even know about this until pretty much this whole debate happened. And then thankfully, the sane and rational people came through with the context that was needed to explain this. So yeah, we're, we're canceling a guy who lost his son, or I believe it was a son, to leukemia and then spiraled out and had a mental health crisis and became an alcoholic and whatnot and did something not good. I don't think it's cool to sanitize the legacy of white celebrities because they're experiencing medical hardship are dying and made music you liked back in the day. It, it, once again, like, people aren't sanitizing their legacy because they're like, hey, you're being a fucking idiot and there's more context to what you're saying than what you're providing. Like, that that's what people on Twitter do. Is like, when you respond to them and you have, like, actual evidence or you provide context or whatever it may be, then we have to shift the goalposts. Now, all of a sudden, it's, oh, we're, now we're sanitizing their legacy? It's like, it, no one's, it, like, oh, this never happened. You don't have people denying that it happened. If everybody was like, oh, that never happened, Steve Harwell never did something like that. Yeah, sure, you could say, I guess we're sanitizing that person's legacy. That's not what's happening. People are like, yeah, he did it, but he did it because of this low point in his life and because he was mentally, like, going through a crisis and he wasn't in his best state of mind. And regardless of that, once again, it gets spiraled into a completely different argument because why would it be a sane argument? Why would we actually argue the fact of the matter? I, I don't think just because they have medical hardship, we should not talk about things. You can talk about things, but why, if it's so important, right? Like it was such a big deal that you needed to try and like basically bring it up and make a big point out of it. Once again, why couldn't you do it when he could actually defend himself? Why didn't you do it seven months ago or, or whatever, right? Why wasn't it a big deal then? Because none of these people actually give a fuck. You know what I mean? And that's the real fact of the matter. None of these people actually care that Steve Harwell did this. It doesn't affect their life really in any way. It doesn't really mean anything to them. All it is for them is another way for them to tell everybody on the internet, hey, I support the right thing. Like 99.9% .9 of people will tell you like, yeah, Nazi salutes are bad. People shouldn't do that. Yeah, Singer shouldn't threaten to kill people's families in the crowd. Most people agree agree on this but you know these people they got to make sure you know that they agree hey hey but i'm a good person i'm a good person over here i would never do the nazi salute look at me I i'm a good person but your favorite singer is not but me i would never do something like this i'm a good person that's all shit like this is to anybody
everybody online. And, and it's funny because you'll hear everybody online talk about how much, oh, we need to prioritize caring about mental health. How come nobody talks about men's mental health and why it's such a big deal? How come we don't do anything about the crippling suicide rates? Yet then when people go through mental crises and when people have mental spirals and go through hardship and have these types of situations, the fucking vultures come out of the, the woodworks essentially to pick apart the body. Whenever somebody starts struggling and has any sort of mental crisis or has any sort of issue that they have to deal with, people want to sit around and debate how crazy they are and treat them like second class fucking citizens like they're some sort of crazy lunatic who can't help themselves. But hey, we care so much about men's mental health. We care so much about mental health in general we, we got to do something about people always being depressed and being sad meanwhile you're part of the next big twitter bandwagon on who we can cancel next and who should get shit on for what like it, it's just it's fucking ridiculous bro and then people once again will wonder why like gee how come people think I'm the fucking asshole? How come people think I'm the idiot in this situation? It's just so pathetic that we've gotten to a point where, you know, there's just no context has to be provided. There's no nuance. There's no details. People act like there's no, I guess, like, background reason to why things happen. As if, like, certain things can't lead to certain actions. I don't know, man. It's just kind of sad because, like, they're really trying to make the last final few days of this guy's legacy and his entire life life be about essentially oh is this guy a hateful nazi because he was an alcoholic and spiraling from a mental health crisis and did something fucked up i i, I just i don't get it man so anyway with that being said i just want to say rest in peace to steve harwell man uh because we know that it's coming right like we already know that he's going to be passing away it, it's already confirmed he's only got days to live uh at this point so i mean pretty much any time i feel like we're kind of going to get the news officially but actually uh i got to make a little bit of a correction because I didn't see, uh, but apparently this morning it was confirmed that Steve Harwell has passed away uh, through his representative at his home in Boise, Idaho. He is officially gone, so that that is unfortunate. And, I mean, it, it's just shitty that this is how the basically the last few hours of his life was spent, was people online trying to essentially turn him into some sort of like Nazi hateful asshole that in reality he wasn't man and I'm sure that his family and friends and the people who knew him can probably vouch that this guy wasn't as hateful as the internet has tried to make him out to be so with that being said uh once again rest in peace to Steve Harwell and uh yeah